So today I'm going to put in some asparagus crowns. Now, you can plant asparagus by seed or crown, but it'll take an extra year or two to produce the spears that are edible. So these are one-year-old crowns that I just bought downtown, and they need to be planted about six to eight inches deep, and then I'm going to put a couple inches of soil on top. Let me take my gloves off. So what I'm going to do is when I, when I plant them in here, I'm going to spread their roots out really carefully and then plant them kind of like an octopus, like this. Okay, so let me do that and I'll show you. Go ahead and turn that on. All right, I'm just going to make... These leaves are going to really decay and sink down into my bed a lot. So what I'm going to do is simply make kind of a row along here and plant the asparagus on top. So I'm just going to kind of spread the... Now this is the crown. This end is going to sprout so we need to grow, put, place this end up. Just gonna kind of spread the roots out like a spider. And then I'll be placing soil on top. Actually, I'm gonna move this one. No, I'm not gonna leave it right here, I think. So this bed of asparagus can last for 20 plus years. It's going to take the first year, we're not gonna pick any asparagus. We want all of the um, energy to be put into the roots. So we don't want to stress the plant at all because we want, I'm, I'm going to plant these about a foot apart. Um, we want this to have a really strong root system so that it will provide asparagus for many years. The second year these are in, we maybe could take a couple, but we're going to have self-control and not take many, if any, and really let that root system develop. And then the third year is the year that we can start harvesting the asparagus. So as soon as your soil can be worked up, you can go ahead and plant asparagus. It likes a long, cool growing season. Not cold, not, not freezing. But as soon as your soil is workable, go ahead and... And guys, never be afraid to just try it. You know, there's no wrong... Well, there are some wrong ways, but... These weren't very expensive. If I've messed them up somehow and they don't come up well, it can't hurt anything. I've amended the beds with some good soil. And I'm not sure if these are good asparagus crowns. There's a couple of them are sprouting, so that's hopeful. We still have a long time before we have warm weather, so. Now I'm gonna put a couple inches of soil on top. And that'll be good till springtime. All right, our chickens will have a fun, fun time if I don't do something to help them, to help dissuade. They're scratching into 
so I open it. I need to like hold. Hmm. So I'm just gonna lay these. Do you think they'll pop in there? Yeah. Those lead sticks for something. Okay, here's our finished product. I know it looks crazy, but I've got the three rows of asparagus. They're planted two to three inches deep on top of the crowns. And then I put this wire over the top because our chickens have access to this part of the yard and they would just destroy them and unbury them and expose them to the elements. So hopefully this keeps them out of here. It can't hurt, right? Can't hurt. Anyways, hope that was helpful. And if you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you later.